Oh, it gets better with time. Well, if they don't hit this, I don't know. I mean, that's good. Soft and chewy. On, bro. Oh, no way. First cast. First cast on the Vienna. Fisherman Dad Jimmy rolling up. Hey, are y'all seeing this? Like, these hunting and fishing channels, and I say and fishing channels because a lot of the fishing community and uh, creators have also uploaded some hunting content. What's going on, bro? What up, dude? Is that Winston Smith over this, here? <laughs> some random gas station. We got something special for you guys today, by the way. But uh, are you seeing these, like, hunting channels are getting demonetized right now? I was like, I was going to ask you later about what happened with Flair, dude. I would love to start off with a good old shoe, but right now, times are tough, and maybe I'll shoe when things get a little bit better here. Today, unfortunately, we got some bad news. Literally, it sounds like Flair's had to take down all of his hunting and trapping style videos really? and it's affecting also this guy named seek one who i was like unfamiliar one, yeah. with you know i know seek one you watch videos i, watch, I don't know i don't know him personally but i know his videos so he's like over half a million subscribers yeah, entire see. channel completely demonetized really and you know a hundred thousand views let's say like he's averaging more than that per video yeah that's like his livelihood that's his that's, income. that's money that, yeah that's, a lot of income let's say uh, i would assume a creator th on the low end seek one is probably averaging a five dollar CPM. That would be like on the low, low end, right? So five dollars for every one thousand views. Guys, I just wanted to jump on here as I make this edit and throw in a little brief explanation kind of on this whole CPM thing, your average earnings and how much these creators are potentially missing out on. So I just got onto Social Blade, uh, a website where you can kind of track different influencers and I looked at Seek One's channel and he just brought in 900 and if I, I think it's 932 thousand views in the last 30 days then I went ahead and got on my YouTube studio dashboard checked my average CPM over the last 30 days and I'm averaging roughly eight dollars per 1,000 views on my videos but seek one gets way more views than me so let's say his average is eight dollars and he brought in 932 thousand views in the last 30 days that means he's losing out on roughly seventy five hundred dollars worth of income I would say on the low end it'd be like five thousand bucks and I would say on the high end somewhere between like ten thousand and twelve thousand dollars uh, per month that he's now going to be completely wiped out from they demonetized his channel and he can no longer create income from those views so he's just not uploading videos that would be like you losing your eighty thousand dollar a year job hundred thousand dollar a year job and some of these bigger creators that are getting millions and millions of views per month are literally losing out on six figures per month i remember getting some stats from stradman i was watching an interview with him and graham stefan so so stradman is one of my favorite automotive creators and he talked about how his best month was just 400,000 very recently and how every one of his videos that he's uploading was making him about ten thousand dollars because his videos are averaging about one million views per upload and at that time his cpm was roughly ten dollars so absolutely insane I looked up Lunker's channel one of his best performing videos ever was bow fishing in a shallow creek and I'm I, he told me how much money that video had made him in the past it was an it was astronomical and he had to take that video down people like Lojo are deleting videos from their channel flair deleting hundreds of videos from their channel senior bass fishing's hunting channel went down anyways back to the video Anyways, it's getting nuts out here. We're gonna run into the gas station, see if we can find some treats for these fish this evening. We're gonna hit a little bit of a spillway. Something different for you guys. So let me see what we got. I see some beef jerky. I love cheese. <laughs> he said, I love cheese. Maybe the fish do cheese, maybe that's what we'll grab. I don't know. They stole the cheese. The cheese is the secret weapon. I was thinking like off the wall food items like a steak or something goofy. How's, how's the exposure? How about a $1.69 hot dog? Hey. That's gonna be tough to beat right there. It looks very similar to a lunker log in like cinnamon color. <laughs> Gas station tomorrow. They literally have dude. I might eat that though. That's the problem. We get that for bait. I'm gonna start eating it myself. I think for <laughs> sure we're gonna use a hot dog. Dude. We'll go with, how much should we grab? At least two. Yeah. We chop these things up. Toss them on a circle hook. See what happens. Yeah. So this little spillway we're hitting. I don't know what type of fish live in here. I assume there might be some bass, and we did bring some bass fishing baits, but also. We're gonna grab some random stuff just to throw out on the bottom, see if we can get some big fish to hit. I've been seeing these videos all across the YouTube. It seems fairly popular. Uh, you mentioned Lunchables. <laughs> I don't know where you got the Lunchable idea. Lunchable Did you really? So you seen somebody fishing with Lunchables and a fish are eating it? No, I, I, I heard there was a Lunchable shortage. You heard there was a Lunchable shortage? Yeah. Is there a Lunchable shortage? I did not know. It looks like they're stocked up out here at racetrack. Well, I don't know what we would use from here, just the meat. I mean, we could probably, we could stack some meat and cheese though. We'll make a sandwich. We could literally make a sandwich. Let's do it. I gotta like put the camera down and actually focus on what to grab. Hold on, hold on a second. See, the 
I don't know if these I don't know if these fish are gluten free. Like if they have a gluten intolerance, we might have to get them the healthy stuff. Amber alert. What's going on out here? Gummy clusters. I wonder if that would stay on a hook. These are pretty stout. Yeah, like, that's like that's tough. Let's get some of these. I feel like it's tough not to get some beef jerky, but that's like that's really what tough. We, like wacky rig this. Wacky rig. Mild. Toss, toss no, they need some flavor. Nah, some can't hit them with mild. We gotta go like what they got Tabasco teriyaki. I don't know. Maybe we got the meat covered with the lunchable. Let's see if there's any better options over here. Ooh, some mac and cheese, dude. I don't know if we could. I don't think that's gonna work. Vienna sausages. I think there's no way we're not grabbing Vienna sausages. Man, I think we're gonna call it. We got some nerds rope. We got the Vienna sausages. We got a full lunch bowl. We got some hot donut. dogs. A donut? You kinda got to. Look, you think they like sprinkles? Yep. Look at that. We don't wanna get that. You wanna talk about that over here for me to get? I mean, I can grab that. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Pasta manana. All right. We have got the goodies, boys. The problem is it's 100 degrees out here, dude. I think my sweet ropes might freaking melt. I might need to eat these before we even get the cast in. Hot dogs will stay warm. That That is true. Those hot dogs are going to do just fine. They'll be cooked up and ready. We'll just put that on the rock, let them heat up. The question is, what are we going to catch? What do you think we're going to catch? There's literally, there's like a ton of different species here, I thought. from a. I, I fished this before in the past with a crankbait, which I did bring some crankbaits, some bass fishing stuff. Yeah. And I caught like a big old, was it uh, a hybrid? I hybrid. think it was like a hybrid. Yeah, there's everything in there. And so, I used yeah. I fish it when I was younger. I used to catch everything. Catfish. Really? Gar. Gar? There's everything in there. Pretty much every native species of Texas is in there. And I know there's some bass in that creek too. So, yeah. And we're going to be fishing heavy current. It's going to be nuts. Let's go ahead and get to the water though. See if we can catch some fishies. We are rolling up. Fisherman Dad Jimmy with the rods out the tailgate. Doink! Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we're not the only ones fishing this thing. There is some cars in the lot. Dude, there's like an event going on over here. They got, okay. There's like a sporting thing going on. Soccer, yeah. But I saw some folks fishing. I see a lot of kayaks. This is definitely a nice little kayak spot. There's a ramp here. This is actually where we tried to launch the hot tamale in a recent video and it did not work out because the ramp is like not suitable for a large boat, but it looks great on satellite view. <laughs> Time to get serious. Let's go. The bait is uh, it's overheating, y'all. Look at Jimmy, he's ready. Yeah. <laughs> you got the Lunchables and all. I don't know how we're gonna fish and not like want to eat this stuff. I'm I'm hungry. What if we catch a freaking tank, dude? Yeah, on the donut. How dumb would that be? I think you only got one cast with the donut. Yeah. Pretty sure it's gone. Let me give you all the gear breakdown real quick before we even hit the water, cause it's gonna we're gonna be excited when we get over there. So I got one casting combo, right? Gonna see if we can get some bass here. I got a jerk bait, but again, the current, it's probably really flowing. So I'm gonna tie on a, a crank bait. Uh, one of the new Guggen micro cranks, so we have a good chance of getting uh, something, just about anything that might be swimming in there. And it's gonna be tiny, and I'm throwing it on the BFS Corrado, so it could be a crazy fight. You guys know that's the uh, the newest bait caster to our fleet with the clicking drag, and it's just like, it starts screaming all of a sudden when you get the fish on. Oh, 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 that's actually, it's pretty sick. And then we got two spinning combos. I got two Stratics. One has the power handle. It's like the 3,000 spool size. The other one is a 2,500 spool size. Both got braid with a fluorocarbon leader, but I'm probably going to end up tying some of these rigs on right here. These are two separate rigs uh, with two hooks on it, some, get, some bigger size egg sinker weights, and it's just going to be a quick knot straight to this stuff. And then we'll just toss on some of these treats, see if they don't hit it. You came ready, dude. Uh, you know, we stay ready. That way you ain't got to get ready. You know what they say. I brought the little micro rod. He, he brought, oh, you brought the little micro rod. Yeah. And then Jimmy, y'all are going to have to go sub to his channel. Check out his video. So He's literally breaking rod. out a micro rod. It uh, it could get wild. Jeez. water right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I fished this last time. Like literally right here. Holy cow. Is there even water flowing? There's got to be. I don't hear any rushing water right now. I mean, the current was ripping last time I was here. Oh, I hear it now. It's going. Yo, this is looking money. Toss these in the shade. Can y'all read that? They finna be eating good, man. This is 60 calories per sausage. Hey, yeah, it definitely does smell like something died. All right, these ropes are finna melt. So I'm gonna put them in the shade real quick until we can rig them up. When you throw out the sausage, you might just land a giant. I might just throw a sausage out first. Sausage? Vienna sausage, yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a lunchable bait. There's Ooh. actually a secret to this. You've done this before. Yeah. Oh, snap. So you want to get two crackers, Yep. a little bit of cheese. The cheese is already melty, dude. We're going to go cheese. I mean, we're going to go, what is it, ham? Cheese. Double cheese. Like that. Oh my gosh. We're going to grab a bait hook. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I don't think so. 
I don't know. I we'll think see. the sandwich doesn't hold much of a chance. Y'all let me know. I think the, is it ham or turkey? What'd you get? Uh, I think ham. I think the ham is going to stay on there and that's going to be what really seals it. Right. I know. Oh no, you ain't going through the holes. Oh my gosh. Hit him with the secrets, that. dude. You can't say that does not going to work. That's going to work. That's going to work. <laughs> I changed my decision. Oh, oh, I changed my mind. Look, even better. Here, Toss that it. thing I'm out there, dude. Lunchable's on the go. I think close to the current is the move. It's probably the deepest over there, I bet. I'm going straight for the Vienna sausage. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. It's smothered in a nice marinade. I can't say I believe that these are going to stay on the hook. There we go. Double Vienna rig. Oh my gosh. Never been done before, I'll tell you that. What was that? I'm going right there. I think, dude, oh, did one come off? One came off? I still got one. I, Vienna sausage. Oh, bro, bro. Bites, bites, bites. On, 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 bro. No way. First cast, first cast on the Vienna. Dude, I think I literally, I found the juice. We got a, we got a little cat, bro. First cast. I don't know, it's it's kind of yellowish, almost like a bullhead, but look at how silver he like is too. Blue. Right behind, like yeah. This. We literally just stopped at the gas station, grabbed some hot dogs. Look at that, dude. So tell me what this is down in the comments. He's like a hybrid. He's like silver and gold. That's what you call a Trinity River cat. This is a Trinity River cat. Yeah, he's, he's uh, we'll call him a hybrid. First one of the day, we really appreciate that. That was insane. Literally through right there where I saw some commotion. First cast on the Vienna sausage. That's insane. Let's go. I haven't got any bites. I think I need to recast. Oh, that might be why. I got no dogs. I, I'm doing it. I'm going for the treats. Sweet tart ropes. We're hitting them with the new Twisted Rainbow Punch flavor, by the way, y'all. We ain't even just going with the standard. Honestly, I haven't tried this flavor before. I might just test it out just to make sure that these fish might enjoy it. Okay. Oh, oh, it gets better with time. Soft and chewy. Oh my gosh. Half for them, half for me. Shout out to Racetrack, carrying the new flavors. That's staying on the hook. Look, if I don't get a fish on that, hold on to that real quick, would you? Tell me they ain't gonna eat this. Bro, next level. We're like gonna run out of bait. Flavors in one. Woo! I can't eat bandito bugs. I'm gonna have to start buying these. Look at that, still plenty of scent. I'm gonna go off the wall. Oh my. Right in the middle of the whole spillway. Right in the current. If this doesn't get hit, you must be joking. I can feel it getting pushed right now down through the rocks. All right, I'm gonna toss on some jalapeno dog because they seem to be like really going after that. Oh, big hit. Big bite, oh my gosh. Dude, almost like, I was like half asleep, dude. He almost took it out of my hand. Dude, look at all these bubbles. I'm getting munched. He's on, he's on, he's swimming with it. Oh man, no, he, he, just, he just dropped it. Nope, got him, got him, got him, hooked up. Second fish, second fish on the ham. No way, that's on the Lunchables, dude. <laughs> what is it? We're hooked up, I don't even know what this thing is. It's a freaking a turtle, bro. Oh my What's gosh. Golly, oh, we got catfish, but not even a catfish. Partner. Oh, hey, oh, hey. All right, he's back in the water. The gas station treats are working, but real quickly, I just got to feed my curiosity and see if we can catch something. A little micro recon. You're on? That's the micro rod. What are you throwing? The, the sausage? The hot link? No way, dude. He's taking drag. Jimmy, what have you got, dude? Oh my gosh. Nice cat. Yes, sir. I mean, this is like six pound mono. Six pound line. <laughs> Sick. On the racetrack hot dog. That was on the jalapeno? Yeah. That's all, that's all it took is we downsized the hook. Downsized the hook. Dude. He's literally throwing out like a, a very cheap, affordable Shakespeare like Walmart combo over here with a, a literal like 60 cent hot dog. So if you guys want to go out and have some fun and hit something like a, you know, a dam or the spillway, you're almost guaranteed to catch fish. It's just an awesome way to get out there and have some fun if you enjoy fishing and just kicking back. Beautiful Saturday afternoon. Shoo! I'm gonna go hit the current with this crankbait real quick. All right, now I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, we got about halfway out there. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, I had a fish. I just had a fish, no way. Well, I think that's it for the gas station food, y'all, we just ran out. That's all the bait we got. We had a major success though. I'm gonna catch up with you guys and talk to you a little bit more about these demonetized channels here. 
in just a second at the house but what a session that was pretty sick if you like the spillway content let me know down in the comments we'll definitely get out more we're trying to catch some stuff that's like 10 15 20 pounds plus and really get into a giant but that's besides the point we had fun tonight with what we uh, got from the station we're gonna have to double up on the stuff we know works next time i'll catch you guys back at the place morning y'all Woo, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed a little switch up today. We are back at the Casa, and man, I just watched Flair's video over on his channel. I know I'm only pretty much talking about him, but it sounds like another almost dozen of hunting and fishing YouTubers, Senior Bass Fishing, uh, and not only him, it was his hunting channel, I believe, that got demonetized, but also a couple different uh, fishing buddies of his got demonetized, probably for catch, clean, and cooks and stuff like that. So any of the few that I have posted, catch, clean, and cooks, yeah, I'll probably end up taking down just because I don't want a chance even this channel, which is on a much smaller scale, getting demonetized because of a couple different videos we put out in the past, which is crazy to even think about. But I figured we'd end on a high note and uh, unbox a little bit of tackle from Carl's. We still get a, an order every single month. I just opened up this month's and I'm gonna showcase exactly what we've got in here. I just do a little restock on things I'm running low or my favorite baits for like the previous month that I just kept using and maybe I've broken off or I uh, just need more of, right? A restock. If you guys need any baits for yourself, also, y'all can check out shopcarls.com. Carl's Bait and Tackle. Save uh, up to 30% on your tackle on a regular basis. They have some of the best deals, especially if you go with the Carl's Club membership. You guys can actually save money on your first order if you use code WESTON10. I'm going to put that down in the description for you. Real quickly, though, let's just show you what we got. We grabbed some more Wu Tungsten. I got quarter ounce because I've been running a little low just for our overall Texas rigs. And speaking of that, I also grabbed some more hooks. The hammer hooks, I got some more four aughts. They're a five pack and I grabbed a handful of them. I got a deep diving shiver crank. This is the deep shiver crank, uh, Carl's Amazing Baits. It dives 10 to 15 feet. We've been having a lot of luck on crankbaits lately. These fish are moving up shallow, but even if we're fishing maybe 10 feet of water though, and some riprap in a lot of these uh, lakes, I, I still like to throw a 10 to 15 foot diver that way it maintains that bottom contact on the rock all the way down. So grabbed a few more of those. We just lost one of those the other day. I grabbed a few more pairs. You can never, have enough of these. Fully extendable, boom, cut your braid, boom, cut your floral carbon, boom, anything. I mean, they're so good. Portable snips, uh, that's why we bought, we literally got three of them. Also, one thing I like to do is like, if I just meet a, up with a random buddy and he doesn't have a set, I, I tend to give these away because they're so sick. Like literally, if you don't have one on your tackle bag, I'm just like, here, take this, you are gonna love it. So, retractable line cutters. It says number one fishing line cutter, easily cuts braid floral and mono lines, 36 inch retractable tether, keeps your snips always handy, proven to last 1 million pulls. I think I have these on every single tackle backpack we own, as well as all of the kayak seats. We have three different kayaks, so I have one on every seat, that way it's always right there if you need to trim line. I have two on the John boat in different areas. I have two on the bass boat in different areas. They're never more than an arm's length to reach away. If you take anything away from this video at all, it's that you need these right here. Wow, we just talked about those for like a minute. Okay, uh, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, something a little bit different. We did have fun out there at the spillway, but not, we really didn't catch the giant fish we were after. We got a few small bites, and uh, I just wanted to mix things up, see if you guys enjoyed it, and if you do, we're gonna go out and target some true giants in places just like that. With that being said, we'll catch y'all on the next episode, and I'm very curious to see where this whole demonetization of outdoor channels goes, because we might have to switch some things up as well. If they start targeting a lot of fishing channels, I can only imagine, at least in the near future, for catch, clean, cooks, and things of that nature, but we shall see. So, till next time, y'all. Peace out.